serve you. And we are not the examples of virtue, and I can go on forever at all. It's just when I express my emotions, they're raw. So society tends to tell me that I'm wrong. I don't think that I'm crazy. It's just that lately, in this era of dating, I find it hard to express what I feel. Because I become emotionally unstable the minute I keep it real. See, here's the deal. I'm not crazy. But I got a gut that kicks like an unborn baby. Every time your ass is trying to play me, it's called intuition. And every time shit gets blurry, it comes to clear my vision. So it's not that I'm tripping, I'm just calling you up on your shit and you don't want to listen. <laughs> to the truth, because I won't let you get away with all of the things that you're used to. And every day must be your birthday because it's always about you. But who made you? The ringleader of love, when you handed me your heart, I should have picked it up with gloves to protect myself from all the pain that it would share. So when you start calling me crazy, it's because you brought me there. You brought me to a place where I can no longer trust. So if I'm looking through your phone, it's because I already know what's up. I just need the confirmation. So I might pull up an announcement. I'm not giving an explanation for what? To give you time to get creative and think of some more lies. See, I tried letting you slide, but I realized that that's what actually made me the bad guy because you, you needed more. Because according to you, I'm not supposed to feel. But you're like a white supremacist. You're the cause of all of my trauma. And then tell me how I should heal. Don't tell me how I should heal. Don't tell me how to react. Don't tell me how high to place my guard when you plot and, and attack. Don't tell me how to express a pain that I didn't even expect and no one told you to invest in if you couldn't collect the interest and yet you tricked me. Oh. And like a child in her innocence, I fell for it. And I let you in a crowded space where there was barely any room. And the shit that hurts the most is that you knew that prior to this relationship, all of the things that I had already been through, and still you decided to give me a part two. But motherfucker, I did not ask for a sequel. My emotions are not to be convinced, continued. How dare you call me crazy? But maybe I am. Maybe I'm crazy for thinking that you were the real definition of a man. And maybe I am for thinking that somehow you'd stand a chance. And maybe I am for putting you first, for getting so far from myself that I didn't even know my worth. And if I'm crazy for showing my emotions, then I'd rather be insane than be left unspoken. Guess what? What? Poets don't always speak up. Sometimes we stay shut. And sometimes we have on a fresh face when it's really makeup, and sometimes we don't like the truth, so we don't end up getting cut. Or end up getting bruised. Because see, poets don't always know what to do, or what to say. Because most of the time, poets are not okay, but hey. Would you listen to me if I wasn't on this stage? Would you try to get to know me? Because though my words can serve as a remedy, if you see me in the streets, I do not owe you any therapy. Because sometimes poets need therapy. But you call us brave. And you think that I'm unafraid, but the truth is I only feel safe whenever I'm on stage. See, because poets too get ashamed. They say that I transform on stage, and it's because I do. Because once I get off, all of my superpowers reduce, and I go back to being mortal, just like you. Wow. Fucked up too. Because did you know that poets mess up too? That we have rips and holes in our shoes? The only difference is that you get to see us nude, so you get a better view of us. But sometimes poets don't stand up because sitting down is a little more comfortable to end us. Sometimes poets don't give a fuck about how you feel. Sometimes poets don't want to keep it real. And sometimes poets are just trying to heal because we're fighting battles with no shield. Writing poetry is a sacrifice. It's more than just advice. You lend me your ears and in return I give you life and all the emotions that come with it. Because being a poet is more than just a ticket. We are gifted, delicately wrapped. But when our spirit is under attack, we snap. And now you have something to snap to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>